Hello, welcome back. Last time I did a rather unconventional solution for this room, um, which did not involve using these mirrors or force arrows. It involved a lot of frustration, shuffling mimics around, getting angry. <laughs> uh, if I had thought far enough ahead, I would have realized that since my the solution I was going toward, which I knew it was going to be unconventional, since it didn't use these force arrows, I should have guessed that it would be easier to come up with the one that did. I just sort of took the first pattern that I was able to make with mimics that could uh, had the, the properties I needed and assumed it was good enough. And eventually it was, just took, whoa, right, that's right. Just took a bit more messing around than I wanted to do. Anyway, I got it done. I have two secret rooms left. It's this one and the mud room and the great puzzle. And that's it for the hold, other than challenges, if I want to do those. Okay, so this room. Remind me how this works. Don't move diagonally. Which feels weird for killing tar babies, because they sure can, but I can't. So I, it's corners like that are essential for lots of stuff. What do you want to bet I needed that tar blob for some reason? Let's just cut the minimum amount. Just in case that's important, because I can avoid cutting it. So... Um, remind me how this works. This serpent needs to be killed by what? Cannot be the Wubba. It's impossible to get a Wubba into this area. It's going to have to be a Tar Baby then. If it's impossible to get a Wubba in, it's impossible to get a Gel Baby in too. Uh, yeah. I can't step here without having already cleared the room. So I would need... I can't move something from here to here to kill stuff. So, alright. Last time I just sort of, whoops, messed around in this room for a while to just figure out how the movement constraints worked and how to fight the tar and stuff. How to move the wubba around. Um, I get to do this once and I get to do this once. So turn into gel, do gel stuff, turn back into tar, finish room probably. The way I gain access to this is by holding that pressure plate. So that totals both of those. That's interesting. So my guess is that this is going to be the first one that I toggle because I have a I have an appropriate corner here where I can be up there and have a wubba sitting here and um, holding that in place. Down here, I would need an extra gel baby, probably. Like, gel baby, gel baby, or gel baby wubba, or wubba gel baby. Uh, that would work for holding that in place. But I want to answer the question of how do I kill a serpent first before I do too much. Uh, remember, orthogonal moves only. No diagonals. If this were gel, I could clear this entire blob, probably, assuming I could survive that, which I probably could. Gel combat with orthos only is going to be easier than tar. Is there a tar gate in this room? I wish I could click on tar stuff to see. I don't see one. Uh, is there a trapdoor gate in this room? I don't see one. Then Okay, so these are just restrictions in where I can... So this trapdoor means it's impossible to do this. Mm -hmm. The only way... If it's impossible to do that, then it's impossible to get up here, isn't it? Uh, there's no time when I'm going to get an opportunity to move diagonally. And without that... A Wubba can help me. Uh, yeah, a Wubba friend could make this possible, maybe. I think I've done this before. Let's do it again, just to see. Uh, in order for that to happen right, you need to come up here. Something like... Well, no, not like that. Actually, what do you need to do for that to happen? So Wubba is very helpful for killing tar stuff. Uh, okay, 
There we go. Mm hmm You keep me safe for that. Now, why did I want to clear that tar blob? Because I want to go through these arrows. Why do I want to go through these arrows? Uh, so that I can clear these tar blobs? Oh, hey, that's a pressure plate. That's a door. Oh. Right. For some reason. Why do I care about that? Okay, so, without knowing what I need to do to get the room done, why don't I just see what happens if I clear as much tar as I can? Alright, Wubba has created safety. Thank you, Wubba. That eliminates my possibility of going through that door. I can do this. What's the harm in that, specifically? That does not let me through because that's a diagonal, right? I have to think in those terms. So maybe I want to leave that tar blob there or something? All right, so... This can be cut as either tar or gel and both ways create a usable way through. This, I don't want to cut here because I like that corner. I want to put a wubba on it. Yeah, so I'd like to go up here. All right, so what specifically is the harm in that? Like, that door closes, sure, but why do I care? Oh, I can't... Uh, I can get out of there, certainly. Just like this. And I can get back in. Okay, so getting in and out of there, not a problem. So if I could somehow stash the Wubba... Okay... I see what to do. Wubba, come with me. Let's go on a journey backward. Um, is a journey backward possible? Not currently. I needed to leave the Wubba there? Well, that means I can't survive stuff. I want him to be... I wanted to leave him here. That's impossible. Yeah, because if he could have... Oh, but that's... Because of this passage, I couldn't have just guided him from here to there. He would end up going too far north because I had to go through this passage here. Okay, so none of those ideas work at all. My goal right now is just to get something on that plate that can stay there. And that's going to be a Wubba, unless it's Tar Babies. It's one of those two things. Probably Wubba. If I do this, I get stuck. Hmm. This doesn't help anything. I think I've done something wrong. Maybe I don't need passage through the... Okay, so the Wubba can move on diagonals. It doesn't help me. What can I do at all? I definitely cannot use this unless I feel like this entire thing with tar babies, and that sounds impossible. Yeah, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in order to at all be able to hold that wubba in place. Then I'd have to get the wubba there and be down here to... to no, there's, there's probably no way that's what I'm doing. Alright, so I don't feel like I made any progress in this room. Sure, I destroyed some tar blobs. That's easily redone. What other general overall approaches could I take here? Uh, yeah, this works. Um, yeah, keeping that tar blob there doesn't seem like it helps. So I can do this. Which means my Wubba has no place to go, so I would need four tar babies at a minimum to make that work. And that's, uh, doesn't look doable. 
so I don't like that. Maybe I go up here, and I destroy some of this stuff. Like, that seems cool. Even if this were gel, I couldn't get rid of it. So I get a choice of either cutting it like the- oh, hey, that's the right way to cut it. Got it. Okay, that cuts better because then I can actually move through here when this is gone. Okay. I feel like I've done something useful. Uh, is this right? Yes. All right. Uh, Wubba comes along, helps me with this. There's no reason at all I could possibly need that door open, other than maybe Wubba guiding. That's the only thing I can think of. It is a toggle. Don't see why that might be relevant. So now that I've done all this stuff, can I... Like, I can go around in this circle... Wubba is there, but that doesn't help me. What about... Hmm. Uh, could that possibly be useful? I don't feel like it could. If I go through here, I'm stuck. In fact... Okay, stuck until I can turn this into gel, then I can stab there and be free. Okay. So, don't know what the purpose of this door is yet. Probably so. Oh, hey, I need a wubba here, don't I? Uh, no. No wubba required. Mm. Uh, if I stayed here, or even went here, I can keep you in an extractable position. So wubba to me. This doesn't help. To get it in there, what do I do? Oh, I think I might know. Wubba, stay there. I need to be, I need to move you into here? Yeah. Let's do that somehow, like this. There's probably a reason this is a bad idea. I'm not going to worry about that yet. So, hey, Wabba, you're there. Um, I really feel like I should do this. So I'm going to. Probably should do this, too. Let's just get this cleaner. Some of those might have a purpose. Hey, look, Wabba's... Uh, Hey look, Wubba is on pressure plate, and I can toggle tar stuff. Neat. Hey look, it's gel. That's cool. So I can stab my way out of here if I want to. Let's see what gel combat with this restriction feels like. Got a Wubba helping me out. Gel feels easier than tar. That's what I figured. Because yeah, with gel, I don't think it can really threaten me in this arrangement. Uh, I needed to do something with tar before I did that, obviously. So, um, let's go back a little farther. If I eliminate... The, okay, a force arrow, hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. Right, okay, so... The way I stabbed this... Well, I didn't have an option. What's that force arrow for? I don't see how I could use it. And I'm definitely dead now. So unless I can get a Wubba to me here, then back out again? 
I don't see being able to do this exactly. Oh wait, there's something else I can do. So that's an option. Is it a good option? Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna clear as much of this as I can without thinking too terribly hard about it. It looks like I'm set up pretty well for what I want to do now. Uh, I don't know why that trapdoor is there yet. Okay, that's gel. So, next step. I'd love to kill that serpent. Then I'd be done with the room. <laughs> There's probably something else in between. Uh, why would I turn this back into tar? There is no benefit at all to doing that that I can see other than letting a tar baby kill the serpent. That's what it is. I need to get a gel baby stuck like here-ish, probably. If that's somehow possible. Turn it into tar and then that kills the serpent. That's my guess currently. So doing that might be enormously complicated. Or it might actually be quite simple. I have a Wubba. Let's use it. Somehow. Yeah, my way back out is clear. Oh, shoot. No diagonals. Yeah, no diagonals. Alright, so Wubba, you help me with... Oh, you get in my way, actually. park you here until I need you, somehow. Alright, so you be my friend. Keep that gel baby from killing me. Thank you. Um, how does that work exactly? Like this. Perfect. So, hey, Wubba, if you were to stay right there, which you won't do, but if you were to, then I could totally slide this tar... Hmm. Hmm. With you there, this doesn't work. I can do that, if that's any use, which it's not. Oh boy, so this is probably what's going on in the room now. I need to bounce this gel baby around until I can do, do what with it? Uh, oh wait, and something's still going to have to stand on that if I want this to happen. So without worrying about what's going on right over there, let me see if I can press that plate. Something as simple as that doesn't do it. Uh, if the Wubba were with me... Sure, hey Wubba. Let's do some stuff. If I kept you over in... Uh, what area? Well, now that doesn't help anything. Yeah, and now you get in my way. As your kind tends to do. This could be good. Uh, it wasn't, though. Well, that's kind of vaguely close. That's interesting. Can I make that happen better? What I would want is for this gel baby right here to stay exactly where he is, and that's not going to happen. If I... if the wubba... 
or somewhere else. Yeah, so all that's really happening here that's of any interest is that the, uh, this gel baby gets caught against this bush, which is why I can pull it down here. Like, I need to already have a blockage there to be useful. So, my current vague, hazy plan for killing the serpent was to get a gel baby here some magical way, then walk down there and hit the switch. What would getting a gel baby there involve magic? Um, or getting it stuck in one of these spaces, which I know I can do, and putting the Wubba there, which is not exactly possible. Okay, let's go back a bit. Yeah. All right, how do I do this? I can get a bunch of gel babies, actually. Here in my way. Um, mm -hmm. This doesn't feel good. I don't think I'm taking the right action here. Alright, well this is equivalent to something I've done before. Uh, how far can this shuffle get me? Only this far because I can't step there. Okay, so I can do this. I don't see how I could get that farther south. Is there a way I could have gotten rid of this? No. That blob is immovable. That is a wall. If I don't get mud, then and I don't get a spear, and I don't get, like, powder kegs or fire traps or an adder... <laughs> Any other tools that would get rid of uncuttable tar stuff, there's no getting through there. So this is a wall. This is a wall. No, no, that one was a different shape. Hmm. So is Gel Baby here or here? What about there? Well, okay, no. I definitely have a problem here because there's no stepping to the south of this without disrupting the Wubba. Getting a gel baby there and then being out of here is impossible. Maybe I need... Well, no, I can't have several gel babies. Uh, right... Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get anywhere else if I don't have a, a plan for killing the serpent. This needed to be used first, because I just did not have the tools to use this from here. Mm, sorry, getting sleepy. Um, having trouble concentrating. <laughs> uh... Hmm. So if I'm sliding a tar baby in, the gel baby either needs to be here, or I need to have a blockage here that's either a wubba or, well, it would be tar babies if I'm switching that. And it would need to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. Or some sort of turn order magic would need to happen. What would that turn order magic look like? Nothing. It couldn't look like anything. If I had a second gel baby here, then this arrangement wouldn't have happened. Okay. I wish I could more easily toggle to the room's initial state. So maybe I wanted to keep this blob. That could be useful for hanging things on. Let's go back to before I cut that. How far might that be? Here. So if I leave that blob, then I can't access any of this, and that's essential. Okay, so that blob has to go. So 
So I have some other options here. I can cut this like this, which seems useless. If I just leave it... That also doesn't seem useful because there's no way I'm getting anything in the... Hmm. One more time. What's this look like? Why is this important? Do I really need to cut that as gel? Like, I couldn't even, could I? When did I cut that? I was on my way in here. I haven't done the gel switch yet. Why not? Uh, because I wanted to cut these first. Right, this was not survivable. I just can't get into that section at all unless... Okay, whoa. Uh, the other option would be to cut this differently. Head in here. Cut that from the bottom. Leave that to be gel. But then I still couldn't move the wubba into place. So I don't feel like that's productive. I mean, I could cut this from the bottom and that's no better. This room's giving me too many decisions. And not enough clarity on which ones would lead me anywhere good. So let's think about the serpent problem again. I'm going to have a gel baby somewhere in this area, turning into a tar baby. Maybe if I have three gel babies, then one will make it in. Could I hang three gel babies in here? Maybe. If I could get in there, which I could through gel here, but to make that gel I need... I already have the Wubba in there. Oh. Yeah, so wait, what am I doing? Uh, I want this to be gel now. Right? Uh, these all stay. I can cut through... Nothing. I can't make cuts... So, what if I did that? Let's just see what happens. If I gel this now... That trapdoor doesn't come in handy. Now wait, what can I even get to? Oh, nothing. Uh, wait, hang on. Now there's this. That's interesting. So maybe that's what the trapdoor means. So hey, Wubba, I need your help. Once again, somehow... How exactly? Um, there is useless... What's that force arrow for, I wonder? So Wubba is a pest now. and will not move to the appropriate place. Nothing I can do would let me get past that. If I have it behind me, because that... no. Like, I'd really like to get it in... Oh, I can, actually. I think. Well, okay, but then you just step on the trapdoor. Hmm. Alright, so I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm kind of losing my concentration because I'm feeling really sleepy right now. <laughs> uh, it's been about normal length of one of these. I've gotten a little further in this room. I kind of understand it slightly better. So in the interest of not dragging this out for too long, coming back to this after I'm a little more refreshed, let's just stop for now. Um, 
I'm getting there, I think. Like, I've done a lot of actions in this room. I know how to do most of the things. I don't think I ever quite figured out how to press this plate and get onto that, but I'm, I'm close, maybe. But, like, it's more important to work out this arrangement here because I need something to kill the serpent, otherwise the room's not going to get solved. I'm pretty sure it involves leaving some tar blobs there. This one seems like it's pretty crucial. I want that to stay. However, not clearing that out means I can't clear this out, and navigating around here is much harder, which is the problem I'm running into there. Anyway, yeah, so i uh, see you next time to try to finish up this room, and maybe if we're lucky, we can do the tar room back in the Great Puzzle too. That'd be cool. Finish the hold. Yeah. Uh, see you next time to hopefully do some of those things.